Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And today I will present about the assisting group activity analysis through the hand detection and identification in multiple egocentric videos. Um, when we talk about the, how we analyze the group activity, then we know that we, they have a lot of features that can lead to the successful of the group work. But one of the key features that we take an interest in is the individual contributions. And like for example, in a Suzuki group, they have a study that found that the participants in the group work felt less near to contribute towards the larger work group, like in the group larger size. And it showed that the individual engagement level can affect the quality and also psychology, uh, psychological evaluation of group performance. So, um, the common approach for uh, observing this uh, individual contribution is like to record the video and find the behavioral marker in this in this video. Uh, so we have a commonly used software called Elan to help people uh, uh, browsing and annotating the video, but still it's a manually procedure and it's very uh, difficult and mentally demanding. So this day we have an approach for the automatic detection of behavior uh, behavioral markers. So it's come to our question: What should we detect? Uh, what uh, what behavioral marker that we should detect it, and how should we detect it to get the data that is useful for uh, analyzing and observing the individual contribution? So we found the prior studies that there are some uh, research that used the. Uh, hand interaction to define the working state for each individual uh, because the hand interaction can reflect the engagement and contribution level in group performance. And it also can, we can observe like, whether the hands are active in individual action or jointly carrying out the task in the group. So our, uh, our research purpose is to explore the feasibility and effectiveness of detecting the hands in the group Task video and also aim to like ease up an identification process of the each individual and group performance from the multiple videos. Uh, so we did the uh, preliminary study. We went to interview uh, two behavioral psychologists and we get the feedback from them that first uh, it's very difficult to observe uh, from which uh, because it have a visually occluded scenes caused by the fixed camera angle from the environment um, camera and also caused by the multiple people in the video that they walk around and working together. So our system, if we want to design it, should have a, and we should be able to capture the video of each individual performance without the occlusion. And the second is multiple behavior annotation tasks uh, is complicated when speculating micro action and also figure out the working relationship of each individual. So we should have a design our system to assist uh, how to identification, uh, identificate of in each individual and the working state from multiple synchronized video. And this is uh, our interface implementation. We decide to use the first person video because of uh, the benefit is is have the least occlusion, and we can also get the head direction to know that what uh, each worker is focusing on. And you can see the blue highlight is uh, how this how our system is detecting, and we use the out uh, shelf of uh, deep neural network to detect the hand mask. Um, we also have the uh, we have the parallel timelines highlighting action. It's a uh, it will show the action. For each act, for each viewer, for each worker, and we also make use of the position in the because we place the timeline in the vertical alignment, and we can see that the the red uh, the red <coughs> square show the red box show that uh, worker A and worker C should be uh, working together at the same time. Oh, sorry, and. Um, <coughs> we propose the four hand-related feature button that show the 
information in the timeline. So the first one is when the when the workers and the owner of the view doing uh, in his individual action, then it should uh, we would show up that when they, it detect the only owner hands uh, detected in the feet, in the scene, and for the the yellow icon is uh, when the person is observing the others working, but he's not working on his own, but it's just uh, observing. But so we regard this as an uh, implicit action. And for the, the red one, is that when he are working together with the others, so we regard it as like a joint action when we, de we can detect both uh, owner hands and the other hands. And when there's no hand, it's detected as just passive action. So we can, and this is the demo of the VD, uh, the interface. You can see that the curs when the cursor is on the blue highlight, it shows that uh, according the video is working in the individual action. And when we change it to the red one, we can see that uh, the, when the red one does worker two and worker three, uh, they are working together at the same time. So we can help them to identify who is working with whom. So we designed the evaluation study with, uh, with the main hypothesis that the, this interface and proposed features can help observers identify scenes of different working state of individual and also analyze the video content with ease of mind. And we validate this hypothesis through task assigned quantitative measure and qualitative feedback of uh, 16 participants. And we designed the uh, experimental tasks into two, ta two main types. First, uh, three tasks is to for validate each uh, proposed features. So we fix the, fix the feature, enable the feature, and then let the user find the target scene and related workers for each uh, type of action. And for the last task, the task four, we let them uh, select the whatever they want for their, up to their preference for the similar uh, target action. So from the experimental task, we uh, define the, uh, the evaluation matrix that we record the task completion time. We compare be between the baseline interface, right, the without uh, feature and the proposed interface. Um, we also have the questionnaire <coughs> that for the fixed condition task, uh, uh, the user will have to uh, will be asked, "How do you rate the ease of completing the task?" And they will rate in the seven uh, skills. And for the free exploration task, uh, I will, we, they will be asked, uh, "Which feature did you find useful in finding the target event?" And they also allow to answer in multiple selection. And we also do the user observation and get feedback at the end of the, t of the uh, experiment to do the short interviews. So the result, we found out that there's no significant <laughs> difference in every time condition and completion. But for the, from the questionnaire, of, we found that there is a significant difference for the ease of task completion. And for the usefulness word from the task flow, uh, all participants are agreement, in agreement that the individual action and joint action is, use, is useful for them to find the target scene. But for the implicit action, it's not that much uh, in agreement <laughs> they have of it. Um, from the user feedback, the first is the uh, positive one that we get is that the visualized timeline offer them the ease and confidence. And it also reduced the cognitive demand by limiting the search space. And for the uh, parallel timelines, it's also like, effective for finding the working and worker relationship. Uh, but we also have a concern like from observation we saw, uh, noticed that some users fail to notice target action due to like they're focusing mostly on highlight frame, and they also we also got a comment from the user that uh, they feel like they uh, have information overload, and suggest that we should provide them more depth in the features. Um, we can see that 
Okay, like the visualization of highly related features that we propose, and let the participant limit the search space, and then they can feel less frustrating to find it when they find targets seen from the multiple video because it a lot of information. And our proposed feature that is useful is the individual action and joint action. Uh, for the implicit action, it's like not always effective due to the functional design uh, accuracy limit patient for the hand detection. And the parallel timeline is for effective for the identifying the joint action related members. So to conclude, we found that our hand related feature, yeah, especially for detecting individual and joint action are uh, useful for identifying certain group activity events. And for future direction, uh, we can improve the accuracy of hand detection and also provide more filter information to reduce its overload. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Questions? I cannot be the only one to ask questions. Hi, uh, Casey Dugan from IBM Research. Thanks for your talk. Um, I kind of understand, this is I guess a meta question. So I understood that detecting the hand motions in this group would help you figure out if people work together or pa uh, passive or active users. So can you talk a little bit more about how you would use that for future applications? Are you gonna create reports for the group? Are you gonna, I don't know, suggest interventions? Can you say a little bit more how you would use these? Uh, how do you use this? Well, like, because, uh, thank you for your questions. Like, well, when I will propose mainly to see if hand can identify the action. So if we can get more, like, more detail that we can, uh, that as we can say, uh, as we may, as I mentioned in the future work. So we have like, ob for example, like object that interaction with hands, and then we get more, so we can use uh, use them to provide for the researcher that they have to annotation the for the like each like different behavior. So, <laughs> is it that? Is that answer your question? <laughs> is there any other question? Okay, so I'll, I'll get back to what the case is and just say, uh, okay, let's assume that I can look in the, or uh, is it something that, at the moment uh, people were, what you did is enable to better identify or easily identify gestures. So the question is, let's assume that it works. Is it something that can be automated? Will be, you'll be interested in automatic identification of specific gestures? And what for, for what purpose this may be done? For what purpose? Well, <coughs> well it's a can make the researcher uh, do their work more easier. It's like <coughs> this day they, they have to take a lot of time to just annotating. And uh, especially when they have to study the group, uh, group activity, they have multiple, uh, multiple cameras, and they have to like just only to figure it out like who is working with whom is already uh, take a long time. So we this uh, research it to solve that problem, and also like what they are do working on the working state. So it's kind of filtering it out. Okay, thank you. If there are no more questions, let's thank our speaker again.